Today we're going to build off of that last video I did about really tough factoring. So if you haven't seen the first episode, I really recommend that you watch it. It should be right up here. Uh, or up here. It's, it's, one, it's one of these. It's up here. All right. My name is Adam Reich with WonderfulTutor.com. Let's make this easy. So we're going to start with this really tough problem. 24x squared minus 5x minus 36. And we're going to, as usual, we're just going to put our two pairs of uh, parentheses here. And we're going to put our x's to the left, leaving just a little bit of room to have numbers out in front. And we'll get to that later. So just as we usually do, we're going to get all the factors of the number on the right. In this case, that's 36. So we're going to put that 36 right here. And that's going to be 1 times 36, 2 times uh, 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. And then with these tougher problems, we also have to get the uh, factors of the number over on the left. So this is, again, going to be 24 which would be 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. So now we're going to start the trial and error part of this problem. And that means picking a factoring pair from each column. And we're going to pick pairs that are closest together because those are usually, not always, but usually the right answer. So we're going to start with uh, 4 and 6 and 6 and 6. And we're going to multiply the numbers furthest on the left in this case that gets us 24 and then we're going to multiply 6 times 6 getting us 36. Do those add or subtract to get us 5? No they don't so we're going to reverse our multiplication step. We're going to use the same factoring pairs here so uh, the 4 on the left times the 6 this time on the right gets us 24 and 6 times 6 gets us 30. Well of course it's going to get us the same numbers from before because when you reverse 6 and 6 it's still just 6 and 6. Since 6 and 6 aren't going to work we're going to move on to the next factoring pair. Let's, uh, let's try 4 and 9. As before, we're going to multiply the two left numbers, getting us 16. And we're going to multiply the two right numbers, getting us 54. Those two are definitely not going to add or subtract to get us 5. So let's reverse everything. Let's multiply the 4 times the 9, getting us 36. And let's multiply the 6 times the 4, getting us 24. Do those add or subtract to get us 5? No, they don't, so let's keep going. This time we're going to keep the 4 9 pair, but on the other column, we're going to try the 3 8 pair. Let's give it a shot, see if it works. The left times the left 3 times 4 gets us 12, and the right times the right 8 times 9 gets us 72. Not getting us 5, let's try reversing it again. All right, so this time we're going to multiply the 3 times the 9, getting us 27. And we'll try multiplying the 8 times the 4, getting us 32. Well, if we add those, it doesn't get us 5. But if we subtract them, 32 minus 27, I think we found our answer. So now we're going to take the 3 and the 8 and put those in front of the x's. But we need to figure out where the 4 and the 9 are going to go. Well, we know that the outside terms need to multiply. And all the work that we did before told us that the 3 and the 9 need to multiply to get us that 27. So we're going to put the 9 right there. And of course, we know that the middle numbers also have to multiply to get us 32, which means that the other number, 4, belongs right there. All right, we've done all the tough stuff. So our job now is to figure out what signs need to go in front of the 27 and the 32 so that when we add them together, they equal that negative 5 that we had in the original factoring problem. Well, that means we need a negative 32 and a positive 27. Well, that means we'll put a negative in front of the 4 and a positive in front of the 9. And that is the final answer to the problem. Hope this helped you out today. If you learned something, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. My name is Adam Reich with WonderfulTutor.com, and I'll see you next time.